Today's rain can be good for our gardens and our grass, but according to one longtime local, there are some locations that don't need any more growth. KVS Christy Millward shows us why one man thinks the medians in Austin need some work. You may not pay much attention to the medians in Austin as you're driving around town, but Robert Nash sure does. As I drive around Austin, I see totally overgrown weedy medians all the time. Nash, who has lived in Austin since the 1970s, says he worries about the plants blocking the sidewalks, affecting people walking, riding a bicycle, or traveling in a wheelchair, as well as the city's image. It's not putting our best foot forward. We can do better than this. We need to not keep them like golf courses, but at least reasonably neat and tidy. He's reached out to the city in the past, even talking directly with the mowing contractor. While he says they've addressed some spots, he wants to see a better routine. I think there's still room for improvement. According to Peru's Moyne, the interim city engineer, the city increased the budget in 2016 to allow their contractors to mow each location 18 times a year, about every three weeks. But of course, that's based on the needs. He tells me they've gotten a handful of complaints this summer about tall grass, but says oftentimes the location isn't on their route and instead is the responsibility of one of their community partners, like a neighborhood association. If you see a problem area, he encourages you to call 311 to report it. So if it's missed, then we would definitely get to it immediately and then we would add it to the location list for that contractor to then go into the regular cycle. A cycle that Nash hopes the city will closely monitor so he doesn't have to. Christy Millward, KVU News. While the city is responsible for mowing medians, Moyne says some of the overgrown areas you see actually fall to the responsibility of the property owner. He says the vegetation in front of a home or a business should not be higher than 14 inches above the street and 8 inches above the sidewalk.